Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Clan Pestilence going up against Itza. They've besieged this settlement here, and we're sailing out to, you know, lift the siege. The balance of power doesn't look good, but there's a few tricks and tips that I can show you here that might be able to give us a victory, but also doesn't matter that much if we lose. Anyway, let's jump in here and see what we can do. Also, I'm aware that yesterday's... Actually, it's... I'll upload this one a bit earlier, that the uh, the video that I recently uploaded, um, the audio levels were bad. So Windows 10 did another one of those sneaky updates where it dropped my microphone levels down to 40%, where previously it was at 100. And yeah, I just didn't notice. So thank you, Windows 10, for your amazing update. Yeah, so that video is ruined. <laughs> I mean, I could do the battle again, but ugh, whatever, let's just move on. There's other battles to do. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to... Hang on. Spread these guys out a little bit. Uh, actually, I'll keep them all on this flank. Actually, go on this flank here. So, we're going to use Menace Belows, right? And we're going to zap our own Menace Belows in order to cause Warp Bombs. Now, it doesn't matter that much if we lose the battle. As long as we do more damage to them than they do to us, they'll probably won't be able to actually pursue the uh, the assault. But then again, they've got another army that's fairly close by. Um, another problem here is that this guy has really low health, so there's a good chance he could end up dead. Which doesn't matter that much, he's only rank 1. But it would be better if he didn't die. But as a Skaven, you have to learn not to really give a shit about any particular rat. Except for your weapon teams. Your weapon teams are very important. Now, the garrison forces are nowhere near as important as our main forces. Okay. We're almost ready to go. Alright. Looks like there's a lot of troops coming in through the forest here. Or what about here? Yeah, decent number of them there. Um, yeah, I think here would still be best. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, we zap our own units. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. And then we blow them up. Go ahead. A little bit more. A little bit more damage needs to be done. And then blow them up. <laughs> yes. Okay, there we go. That's how you're scaving it up. Okay. Alright, you get back and we'll let him do the next one. Uh, shit. I meant you to... No, 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 no. Just... Okay, there's no time. You're gonna have to... We're gonna have to move the whole lot forward. Rather than move them back, because they need to start shooting now. Okay. And next one, just... Um, let's see... We, we don't have Warp Bomb available just yet, but we can slow down their approach, so I think there would be a good spot. This time I don't actually want to hit my own units. It just there will do, okay. So you get back, you don't have much health. That's it, they turn back around. Now this guy here doesn't matter at all, so... Sending him in to just tank them for a bit so the rattling guns can shoot them. Because the problem with uh, the front line here is that it's not really good at holding them back because the rattling guns will be obstructed. They won't they won't understand the true power of friendly fire. Uh yeah, we can bomb that. I think that was that was alright. That was okay. Okay, I think over here would be a good spot for a zap. And yeah, just keep as many of these guys here back as possible. And let the garrison take the brunt of the damage. Okay, we need more zapping into there. Alright, rat ogres come around over this way. Keep the plague monks out of it for now. We could always warp bomb them if we absolutely need to. 
So I'm thinking, actually, you move forward, I'm going to whoop bomb you. So... Yes, okay. So we zap our own unit. I thought this was ready. Damn it, come on. Four more seconds. <laughs> I thought it was ready. There we go. Good shit. Okay, now pop that down there. That's the great power of Skaven. You win by dying. Uh, yeah, charge them in there. Actually, no, no, no. They'll definitely lose against those. Come around over here. That's probably where I need you the most. Some of them are obstructed. Okay, back into battle. Bouncer power's looking good. You know what's annoying? These little um, icons here. Super, super annoying. I really wish they would take that out of the game completely. Because, um,. They stop you from being able to actually select the thing that they're trying to notice you on. And there we go, we won the battle. And our main army took no damage at all. And yeah, run them down as much as possible because we're probably going to want to pursue them and finish them off. Because, yeah, it doesn't wipe them out immediately, just by running them down. Oh, just by winning, I mean. So, try to specifically go after the Saurus Warriors, because it's going to be hard to get those heroes. But, yeah. Defending Skaven territories in the early game is actually pretty easy if you manage to get the uh, warp bombs going, which you did, which was good. You definitely want to wall up pretty much every single Skaven settlement you can, because uh, the walls provide money as well. So it's not a bad economic choice. And there we go, heroic victory. God, we absolutely smashed them in that fight. No damage done on the main army, and uh, the, well, the garrison doesn't matter because it'll recover. I only have to keep keep the, the precious um, weapon steam alive. Because even with their low numbers, they still got a decent number of kills. And then we'll get some replenishment up in there, and we actually recover from that battle. Now, you're probably going to want to pursue and finish them off, because what what will happen here is if you don't do that, uh, these guys will come down and uh, force march down here, and they'll just they'll come with large numbers. If you get rid of this then this army here um actually why don't we sort this out i reckon we could just order resolve that um got some regiment of renown let's grab this one all right i'll, I'll sort this out here let's go again two levels up all right um ideally you want to use plague priests like pray plague graciers they're better but you know this is what you chose so that's fine uh, campaign movement range would be useful, and probably go with Ancient Cunning to begin with. I'm not going to worry too much about their magic. We want to be able to ambush them, and then... Yep, nice ambush there. We could auto-resolve it, but I'm just concerned that we'll take damage. If we fight this manually, they won't do any damage to us at all. So the plan here um, is to position... Well, look, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. So... It's not just about winning the battle. We've got to save this situation here. And I know exactly what to do. Alright, there's a good spot for us. Let's keep that back. Doesn't matter about when's the magic. Not really going to make much use of it.
Yeah, they'll come at us. I just have to try to hope that we take zero damage here. That way we can actually recover a bit more of our losses. Warp Bomb's not going to be of any real use to us in this battle. But we pop this down behind them so that it doesn't obstruct their the rattling guns and forces them to hopefully turn around and come attack us. Uh, it's okay if you let the... Uh, yeah, look, see, they, they did exactly what I wanted them to do. <laughs> I don't care if we shoot our own menace below. It's all good. It's all good. That's it. Just get their attention. Thing is, though, with these really small targets, kind of hard to hit them. But looking at that, if they get much closer, they're not gonna. They're gonna rout. Which is what we want. We don't want them to do any damage to us at all. So far, I haven't inflicted any. Ah, oh, they just got one there. Damn it. Oh well. But we want, so that's what we need to do. One casualty. So not too bad. And that wipes out the entire army now. But now we're going to start preparing for Gorok. Now I'm not actually going to do it. Because I feel like the situation is under control now. But I'm just going to provide like a little bit of a tip and trick. Uh, on how to deal with Gorok as he comes in. Yeah, we'll recover a little bit there. Cool. Yep, we recovered a, you know, a few troops. Okay, so here's what we do. So Gorok's coming in. He can't proceed to settlement this turn, but what we want to do is grind him down. Basically do a bit of guerrilla warfare. We're in the jungle, so let's treat it that way. What you want to do is stand right here, not in uh, force march stance. Now from here, Gorok can attack us, and he probably will. We don't have the garrison coming out to help us, but you do have the menace below on warp bomb. So what would happen here is that Gorok would attack you, fight the battle manually, and basically to stay at the edge of the map, have your um, have your general go forward and basically do exactly what I did here. To put the menace below down, warp bomb them, and as they're advancing, just keep warp bombing them. And then when they get close, you know, shoot them a little bit, and then just withdraw from the battlefield. Take zero casualties, and then you'll just retreat back to here. And he'll either force march away, or he'll just stand there because he just he can't reach here. Then the next turn, um, you stand behind the settlement here. Or inside of it again, it's entirely up to you, but behind it would be better. So when Gorok besieges it, you're still going to get replenishment. Then you uh, sally out or attack him with the army and possibly ambush him. And he should be thinned out enough by then that you can win. But if not, if you attack him with the army, you could attack and then still withdraw if you're not completely happy with uh, how much damage you're doing. Just, again, keep using the menace blow and warp bombs. And just withdraw as soon as as soon as you uh, are uh, he's getting close to you. As long as you don't sally out, because when you sally out, you can't withdraw from the battle. So it's important to keep these these annoying little armies around here. Just keep picking at him, keep picking at him with all the scaven corruption and warp bombs you can. And then by the time you've done that, because you've taken no damage and he's been worn out, he's either going to back off or he's going to completely fail to capture marks of the old one, and then pff, that's the end of him essentially. And you can push an attack and um, and finish him off. Because uh, it doesn't look like the campaign's going too badly for you. Anyway, hopefully that helps you guys out. Hopefully the audio is better in this uh, video. Do appreciate the feedback, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Later, fuckers. Appreciate you.